Uh, so this game is not there they don't ask for the uh, any questions in the uh, exam or anything but we can just go through it once uh, usually i like to read it because just for the sake of vocabulary and everything you don't need to worry about how they will ask questions from this or anything idvarikum in so many years they have not asked any question from this so don't worry okay um Yeah, we'll give a Bani and Bhajata Gairvani. So I will order the Chittur Sabha's uh, magazine is called Gairvani. So they have published a magazine, which is uh, they used to publish. I'm not sure it's still functioning or what, but they used to publish before. And in that there were a lot of scholars who have contributed uh, uh, shlokas and, uh, you know, uh, like this uh, songs uh, of this sort. So they have taken it from that magazine and uh, put it in, as part of the syllabus. Okay. So their symbol is Vanim Bhajata Gair Vanim. So that's their mm -hmm. motto. Chittur uh, Urdu. Okay. Yara Padi Muna. Let's see. ಸೇವತೆ <laughs> So, mm. Sevam Kuru, you can also take it like that. Re is, uh, it's like an address like that. Okay. A colloquial way of addressing and calling people. Yay. So, Re. Hmm. Uh, so, Gairvanim Bhaja Re Vani. Gairvani uh, uh, means Devanam Vani Iti. Gairvani is actually Samskritam and uh, Vani is just Saraswati here. ಗೈರ್ವಾಣಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಇಸ್ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಗೈರ್ವಾಣಿ ಶುಕ ಪಿಕ ಮಧುರ ನಿನಾದಂ ವಾಣಿ ವೀಣಾವಾದ ಮೋಹನ ಮುರಳಿ ನಾದ ಇಯಂ ವಾಣಿ ವಿಸ್ಮಾರಯತಿ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ನೋಸ್ ನೋ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಆಮ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಇಯಂ ವಾಣಿ ನಿನಾದಂ ವಾದಂ ಮುರಳಿನಾದಂ ಚ ವಿಸ್ಮಾರಯತಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯಂ ವಾಣಿ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುಕ ಪಿಕ ಮಧುರ ನಿನಾದ ಶುಕ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿಕ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಯಲ್ ಕುಕು ಉಭಯೋರಪಿ ದ ಮಧುರ ನಿನಾದ the sweet sound that comes from both the parrot and uh, uh, a coil is made to forget so uh, this speech makes us forget the sound of the beautiful sound of parrot and coil it makes us forget the vani veena vadam vani vanyaha saraswatyaha veenayaha vadam vadanam the playing mm -hmm. of the veena by saraswati even that we will forget when we hear the beautiful speech of sanskritam mohana murali nadam uh, vismarayati so this mm -hmm. speech again makes us forget the mohana the attractive murali nadam the flute music okay, okay. here on the same lines the second uh... ಸರಸ್ವತಿ <laughs> so there are two so you have to, so the different there's a difference in the two verbs patita patati patayati thanks makes you kausal yeah i can read uh, ah, yeah veda vada vaniyam valmikim madura vaniyam vyasa bhasa vaniyam kavi kalidasa vaniyam so iyam veda vada vani 
வேத வாத வாணின்னு எதுக்கு போடுறோம்னு வேதங்கள்ல இருக்கக்கூடிய வாதம் அதை சொல்லக்கூடிய வாணின்னு எடுத்துக்கலாமா any discussions with respect to vedic discussions uh, are present in this uh, language so this language has uh, vedic discussions in it okay i think uh, i think uh, the other way of one vada irukku liya okay you mm. know at least in telugu is a veda vadam the the swaras of veda veda nadam veda gosham வாதம்ாதி வேதவிஷயமானவாதானாம்ஸ்கிருத்த <laughs> வியாச பாச வாணி இயம் வியாசஸ் அண்ட் பாசா பாசா இஸ் அன் ஏர்லியர் போயிட் தென் காளிதாச ஸோ ஹி இஸ் மென்ஷன்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸோ வியாச அண்ட் தென் பாச தேஷாம் அப்படி வாணி இயம் வாணி வாணியம் இஸ் அ வர்க் ஃபார்ம் ரைட் நோ நோ வாணி இயம் இயம் கைர்வாணி வேதவாத வாணி அஸ்தி இயம் வால்மீகி மதுரவாணி அஸ்தி வாரதி <laughs> வியாச பாச வாணி இயம் சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஸ்பீச் விச் இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் வியாச இஸ் மகாபாரத அண்ட் பாச பாச ஹஸ் ரிட்டன் தேர்ட்டீன் நாடகஸ் இட்ஸ் கால்ட் பாச நாடக சக்கரம் இஸ் வெரி ஃபேமஸ் பிளே ரைட் கவி காளிதாச வாணி இயம் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ தி ஸ்பீச் தட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ்ட் பை கவி போயட் காளிதாச பாச இஸ் ட்ரீட்டட் ஆன் பிளேன் வித் வியாச வியாச பாச ஆர் இட் ஜஸ்ட் बिकॉज ஆஃப் ரைமிங் rhyming and uh, he is before kalidasa uh, uh, in order to mention that so he is put before kalidasa ah oh, okay time yeah. wise chronologically he uh, kalidasa yeah. mentions bhasa mm mm-hmm. okay so samskrita prashastya bodhakam idam geyam ha so kavi kalidasa vani iti samasaha kila ha huh, so in in chitur books uh, unless you, you know i put up my version of it you will find this problem in all of the books the samasta padam will not be uh, written as one word and then you will find some uh, uh, examples of adha uh, let's say um, i have not found that here as such I mean, he helpfully put the hyphens in, in the shuka pika there, he helpfully put hyphens. Correct. There's no problem there. He yeah. could have put hyphens here, which would have made it uh, nice. Uh, you, you are going to be blaming the uh, proofreading <laughs> constantly then. <laughs> I would suggest you develop a great patience for this. <laughs> no, no, we, we notice it beforehand and later on we'll ignore it. So we know what mm. to ignore. Uh, see, like in the next one, if you see this, Samskrita Prashastya Bodhakam Idam. போதக மிதம் இது யுக்தம் பட் தட்ஸ் ஹவு இட் வில் பி இன் ஆல் ஆஃப் தி சித்தூர் புக்ஸ் தி ம வில் பி இன் தி செகண்ட் வேர்ட் ஐ திங்க் தி தி पर्सन who gave it to the the printing press he didn't do a good job of proofreading it elena printing press guide took liberties i and every <laughs> later edition has more they have contributed to the errors more ha <laughs> huh? ari ah 
just cool off you're confusing the rest in the yaar la no just comment so that we'll uh, figure it understand. out understand i'm just saying people should understand what they are doing liya mm. go ahead sanskrit prashasthya bodhakam idam geyam madhura ragena vidyarthi bihi gapaniyam this is all instruction for us to make the students sing this uh, uh, this thing so we don't need is that so the bagini ha huh? is there a song tune <laughs> போட்டுக்கோங்கோட வை டோன்ட் யூ பிளீஸ் ட்ரை ஒன் ஐ ஹேவ் நோ ஐடியா so iam vani ka iam vani ki we'll just move on to the next one so one uh, this thing that is of importance here would be this brahmi um ee idu pogala there is no undo here button ah sorry i don't know why it keeps somewhere or not it's coming okay ha huh. uh huh <laughs> i i'm so new to this adobe I think that you i can't un- figure out right? you annotated huh? so you have to do un- read undo annotation not on the pdf undo annotation okay yeah. i'm so new to this i don't know how to do that okay it's okay fine brahmi tu bharati bhasha Girvagvani Saraswati. The, this is from Amarakosha. Amarakosha is like, a, uh, like your uh, thesaurus. If you have come across Rajit's thesaurus for English, it gives you uh, synonyms and antonyms. The same way, Amarakosha actually is the primary compendium of all words that you can find. the synonym words are given together as shlokas in the form of mm-hmm. shlokas so brahmi also means brahm brahmana uh, uh, patni uh, uh, one who is or brahmi also means the brahma's shakti which comes out of him which is brahmi that is your speech so bharati who is also saraswati uh, bhasha it can mean vani can mean a language which is the speech that comes out of anybody gir vak gihi vak vani saraswati all of these are paryayavachi shabda for the word vani so these are all synonyms for the word vani you can use bharati bhasha or gihi vak tyadi okay ha now we start with this i'm not sure how many people are uh, the uh, prefix basics. of gairvani comes from gi lya yeah? ama okay gihi uh, ad apdi dhan varanum hmm. gairvani hmm ye vriddhi varudha and edathula illa sure okay uh those who are uh, familiar with the basic words we can move on or if you want to read this quickly someone can just read and tell me the meaning uh ramesh mohan ungala dhan kekkan yes because the most beginner person can start with this is it me yes only one, one ramesh is there another amma neenga undi dhan irukkel vera yaarume illa padinga seri ah ramaha is the name of that uh, boy yes uh, sita is a name uh, phalam fruit balaha is a young boy bala is a young girl mukam face ajaha goat oops mala is a garland a griham is a house now it learned the similarities that i just wanted to point out is all of these are masculine the middle ones are all feminine the last ones are all neuter gender uh if you in if you're looking coming from tamil i'm not sure about other languages but in tamil it is very uh, clearly un- uh, according to the gender the words do not have a gender whereas in sanskritam it is according to the word and the words have a particular gender mm. mala in tamil we will say ad malai agrine we use it is a garland we don't say she is a garland whereas in sanskritam it is a she because the padam itself is a strilinga padam if you note they, these end in dirgha those which end in dirgha are 
feminine words for now the, the sanskritam is full of exceptions for now you take it as if it ends in aha then there is a uh, it is a masculine word if it ends in a you can think of it as feminine for now and then in phalam mukham griham those things are in neuter gender napunsaka lingam okay for now we will have exceptions to all of this what is a sa chitra ah. mean in that uh, title chitra ah, is pictured picture yes sa chitra paathamala uh, uh, with pictures this is a lesson oh with sa picture. chitra with pictures mm, with pictures chitrina saha right yeah hmm ha next page uh, gajaha actually what is so should i do the masculine first <laughs> no no go with masculine feminine and neuter that's fine okay. gajaha elephant dola is a cradle mm -hmm. uh, dhanam is a wealth money mm -hmm. gataha pot lata is a creeper vanam is a forest kataha is a pie uh, ah, mat, mat. Uh, Mata is mother. Uh, Patram is a leaf. Hmm. Vataha is a tree. Banyan Nau. tree. Vataha, vata vriksha is a banyan tree. Ah, vata. Ah, hmm. Vataha hmm. is a banyan tree. Nauka is a boat. Hmm. Uspam is a flower. Karaha is hand. And Vina uh, is a Vina instrument, hmm. musical instrument. Netram is a eye. Hmm. uh or netram is, is netram sorry. is neuter gender yes mm. okay uh sharaha sharaha this is a circle uh sharaha is a um, arrow yes uh, and nadi is a river and mm. trinam is grass okay uh, padaha is a uh, feet uh, foot. Shibi... one foot one foot uh, correct uh, padaha is one foot uh shibika uh, talanquin i guess uh, yes and uh, kagidam <laughs> paper yes oh uh, rataha is a, is a chariot um uh, nasika is nose chakram is a wheel halaha is a plow plow uh, mm. uh, and lekini is a pen and pustakam is a book ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟಿವ್ ಸರ್ವನಾಮ ಪ್ರೋನಾಮ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಶಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಯಂ ಇಯಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಇದಂ ಆರ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಬೈ ಅಯಂ ಇವನ್ ಇಯಂ ಇವಳ್ ಇದಂ ಇದು ತಮಿಳ್ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಯು ಸೇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಯು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋರ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ನೋ Ina is there a difference in uh, gender there is okay oh. so iam kaha so i am kaha iam ka idam kin if you have to answer it you will say i am padaha uh, when we write it in tamil he he is a foot in english if you have to write it it sounds very weird but that's what you are actually writing it in sanskritam ivan padam ival ಇದು ಪಲ್ಲಕ್ಕೆ ಅಪ್ಡಿದಾ ಹೇಳುವ ನಮ್ಮ ಓಕೆ ಇಯಂ ಕಾ ದೆನ್ ಇಯಂ ಶಿಬಿಕಾ ಇದಂ ಕಿಂ ಇದಂ ಕಾಗಿತಂ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಹೋಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಸೋ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅಯಂ ಇಯಂ ಇದಂ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ Okay. so you're saying for a question i am kaha you will say i am padaha yes you can write i am rathaha i am halaha so instead of following these three questions 
I would go by your homework would be to suffix each of these words with either I am, I am or idam. All of these words. So and you said you will write here, indicate huh. proximity. Ah, yes. Proximity. I am Ramaha, I am Sita, idam phalam. You understand? Okay. Hmm? So for everything, if you make a note, then these three will be uh, clear in your mind. So I am Balaha, I am Bala, idam Mukham. So now you get your homework. You ask so me. basically the expectation is you do the Ramaha, Rama, Ramaha. Is that the if question? you can, awesome. Mm -hmm. The next lesson would be uh, I am Balaha. It already suffixes those. No, and the gives question you. there was Trishu. Can you go back to the question there? Huh, yes. Trishu, what does it say? Chitrai eka vachana. Chitrai hi Trishu lingeshu eka vachana shabdaha okay. bodhani yaha. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the next lesson is actually the abhyasam that I have given you. It's the homework that I've given you. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. So I am balaha, I am bala. I am ghataha, I am mala. It's the same exercise. But you are going to suffix it with that prop, uh, sarvanama shabda. Got it. So you are going to do the second lesson on your own. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. So I'm just going to skip the uh, pictures and we are going to go directly to the suchana here. Uh, samipastha vastu vachakanam shabdanam Trishu lingeshu idam shabdena nirdesha purasaram prathama eka vachanam bodhaniyam. What does it say? Samipastha vastu vachakana. So, any object that is present nearby, if you have to indicate those objects, Trishu lingeshu in all three using idam as a common noun, if you are just using pronoun, if you are using idam, then in all three lingas, you have these three words, I am, I am, and idam. And only Prathama Eka Vachanam is given here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so these are all fill in the blanks. Does someone want to try this? Okay, I can try. Hmm. Uh, I am Gajaha, yes. Idam, Mukam, Mukham. Uh, Iyam Iyam Dhola Yes uh, Idam Palam Yes Okay So Because all of these seem to be ending in Ma I told you the exception right So even if it ends in Ma You should know What to connect with what So I am Would mean uh, would be indicative of pullinga. Em is three lingam and idam is apunsakalinga. Eta drisheshu vakyeshu asti bhavati kriya padayoho aprayoge api tadartha bodaha bhavati. I don't need to say asti. This is there. In English, when you translate, this is house. You have the verb is in English. Yeah, but in many of our, uh, uh, most of our Indian languages, we know, we don't need the verb there. Any Indian language you take, idu, vidu, that is a perfectly uh, clear uh, sentence. It makes sense. It is a complete sentence for us. In Hindi or any language you take in uh, uh, Indian languages, it is a complete sentence, even if the verb is not mentioned. But you understand it as asti or bhavati. That is is understood there. Okay. Udaharanam, it, when I say I am balaha, this is a boy, it, it actually means I am balaha asti. I am balaha bhavati. This is a boy. I don't need to use this asti or bhavati, which is a kriya padam or a verb. Is clear? <laughs> okay. The next so, one is so that, ah, so Asti yeah. and Bhavati mean the same thing? Yes. There, there can be differences, but for now, 
treat it as the same because bhavati can also mean become saha panditaha bhavati when you say that then he becomes a pandita saha panditaha asti he is a pandita it can also mean he becomes a pandita when you use bhavati in english also you you know it's a dichotomy with respect to that verb is right it becomes mm. e e e so is and be are the two forms which mean the same thing right uh. so so you see you notice the same dichotomy in sanskritam asti bhavati that say as dhatu and bhu dhatu are the same the, but the, the i think the difference is bhavati bhu bhav has an extra meaning to it right asti cannot have that yes, bhavati can also mean become yes also yeah can i ask a tangential question sure so uh, what is the uh, i used to get confused with the bhavati versus bhavati uh, do you know why is bhavati uh, a lady like example for example bhavati bikshan deki i mean that is the most popular one that i know it's of. the same bhavati but it has a uh, e ha huh. when when it is in a sentence you say bhavati kim ka, bhavati uh, uh, it's not a sambodhana when you say bhavati bhikshan dehi it is a hraswa there bhavati bhikshan dehi right or bhavati so bhikshan writing, dehi you are putting the matra on the other side who is putting it uh, for example even kosha sanskrit they put a bhavati uh... ah that is there that is the original word like nadi uh, okay. Uh, um it is sambodhanam has a different uh, when you have uh, vocalize and call someone you call it in a different way uh, have you come across palgat uh, usages you know when mm-hmm. they say usha if someone's name is usha they say ushe abindam kupa they won't say usha mm-hmm. yeah so the thing is sambodhanam they were very particular geete they call geete seete they don't say seeta but uh, to go back to the original question i think if you take the english word red red is a color and red is the noun the past past tense of reading red right he is well read he read the book that also you have the same the the form the sound is the same so you may write it differently in this case the sound is the same bhavati bhavati but depending on the context you would know whether it was a verb or a noun so the context would tell you how to interpret it right so that's that's yeah. basically it yeah அதுக்கென்னோமோன்னு Good one. Okay. Now this is uh, to talk of someone who is far off. Saha, sa and tat. Just as how I am, I am and idam is for a vastu, an object that is close by. Saha, sa and tat refers to an object that is far off. He, she, that. Not this and that. Uh, the, not this, but uh, somebody who is far off. Avan, aval, ad. so sahabala the same set of words that you had before now in these lessons you have lesser number of words whereas in the first lesson you have a lot more words here okay nine per uh, page so nine fours are 32 if you substitute all of these with the saha you can also say saharamah sa sita tat phalam that is a fruit aval sita she is a is sita so you can either substitute with i am to indicate that she is close by or you can substitute you can add sa to it and say she is far off okay so with the first lesson itself you are it is easier to go with the second lesson also hmm? because the words are the same they have not introduced any new word here in fact they have reduced the number of words so i want you to work on those also if you want on thursday you can meet and uh, just find out whether what you have done is correct or not 
clear ha huh. now someone wants to do this these can do ha uh, bala yeah. okay that's right. ala ta hmm ah tad dhanam sa veena yes okay is that clear we can move on to the next one or we can stop with this however we feel we can do one more one more okay cha mm -hmm. imo and ime now this is for dual dual is we will read dual a lot more here then in uh, uh, so if you are coming from sanskrit bharati background you will find dual more here than there okay uh, so imo ime uh, are the two word now idukku munnadi i think i will uh, include where is the idilla illa and the infant reader da enak adukku sauryama irukum okay we'll go with this can someone read and tell me the meaning so imo indicates now when you said balaha balau is two boys so i am balaha and now i am also has to be in dual here because these two boys you will have to change that also into dual now if you change the noun also to dual the pronoun should also be in dual here okay is that clear so can you read and tell me the meaning of this emo balau mm. they are two boys ime bale they are two girls mm. these two girls yeah so these two girls oh these yeah, these are two girls these mm. two girls emo ajau these two goats mm. ime male Again, uh, these two garlands. Trilingam, yes, trilingam to to mala. Emo gajau to pumlingam to gajaha. Uh, em eme dole. Um, these two, two cradles. Now mm -hmm. uh, this is pumlingam and trilinga. We have not gone to napunsaka lingam. Napunsaka lingam is given at the end. We'll come to that. Ha. Huh. Emo gatau pumlingam to gatas to pots. ंगली हिंदी Yeah, very clearly yeah. because this is oshta letter okay ha ime phale now from here you have napunsakalingam if you have both ime veene and ime phale and i ask you to recognize which is napunsakalingam which is trilingam you will have to know the original word it is not veenam but it is veena it is not phala it is phalam you should know the first lesson really well to understand that this ime refers to strilingam when it is as an adjective to veene and if it is an adjective to phale it should be in napunsakalingam okay ha ime mukhe idam mukham ime ime mukhe Yes. Idam gruham ime gruhe. Idam dhanam ime dhane. Yes. Idam pushpam ime pushpe. Right. Okay. okay. So the same way in these all of these uh, uh, words in the first lesson, you can substitute I am pada ha imo pada o. I am shibika ime shibike. idam kagitam ime kagite substitute and work it out mm -hmm. so pushpa is not a um, hero it's a heroine <laughs> or no, sorry it's pushpa, pushpa. napunsakalingam <laughs> napunsakalingam here <laughs> ha so samipa gata vachakanam shabdanam trishulingeshu idam shabdena nirdesha purasaram 
Prathama Dvivachanam Bodhaniyam. Now forget about this Prathama for now. Uh, we will go to the Vibhaktis later. So this is Dvivachanam. All of the words that are indicated here are in Dvivachanam, which is dual. Okay. Uh, imo kau ime ke. Now, ime ke is a common question for both Strilinga and Pullinga. When I say ime ke, you can answer me with either ime late or ime pushpe. Either can be the case. Is that clear? Huh. Ime pushpe. Hmm. Ime late. Uh, emo Sharao. Yeah, Emo Sharao. Now, now he gives the verb for dual. Just as how we saw, I am Asti. This is there. These two are present. There can be a verb associated with it also, but you don't need to have the verb also. So that is understood. Asti and Bhavati are understood here. This is the dual form of Asti and Bhavati. If one is in singular, everything should follow as singular. If one is in dual, everything should follow in dual. So Imau Balau, these two are boys. So Imau Balau, Staha. For Asti, you have Staha as the dual. Imau Balau, Bhavataha, these two are boys. Okay. I think we can stop with this and then do Taute later. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the group or Nerti Lama. Oh, yes. <laughs> 